okay, let's say you're a very technical person, but okay, you have a cool product. Now you need uh, a sales partner, right? And I work with a lot of companies where the CEO, they know ones and zeros, they know how to code, they know how to service uh, clients and deliver for them, but they don't know how to sell. Okay. I strongly recommend partnering with someone either if you can afford it, partner with a company, because that's always better than giving away equity. If you can't afford uh, a partner, uh, a company, or even like a, a chief marketing officer or something along those lines, then sure, try to take on a co-founder. If you can keep 51% of your company, I absolutely recommend it. Um, but you need someone that can you know, talk on the phone, that knows sales strategies, that knows processes and systems and automation and so forth. That, that There are two completely different skill sets. If you're the sales guy where you have a really good idea, uh, but you have no way to make it, and I'm assuming you don't have the money to go, you know, pay someone to do it for you, then it, the same thing goes vice versa. Try to find a technical co-founder. Try not to give away more than 50% of your business, well, really more than 49%. And it's just, it's playing the exact opposite game. Find someone that can do the ones and zeros, stay in the back corner office while you're out visiting, being a friendly face to those around you, networking. And I mean, even things like putting together systems and automations like a CRM, uh, email management, like you, you need someone that knows all the little tools and tricks to start garnering attention. And you need someone, let's say you don't know anyone that can invest in your company. You need someone that's willing to go out there, start networking with everyone, both digitally as well as in person. 